Hi everyone and welcome. Here we have Luxfox Pico Ultra W running the Ubuntu operating system. Now we want to install the Node RAID inside this Luxfox Pico Ultra W and we want to access the Node RAID dashboard from wireless interface. Okay, so here is the Wi Fi and the Bluetooth antenna and we will connect this Luxfox Pico Ultra W board with the Wi Fi and then we will access the Node RAID dashboard from Wi-Fi interface IP address. So let's see how you can do that. So as we have already flashed the Ubuntu operating system, the IP address of the USB interface is already fixed, okay, which is 172.32.0.70. And here you can see we have this network remote NDIS based internet sharing device. So I can directly log into the SSH terminal of this Luxfox Pico Ultra W board. So we will first open the command prompt we'll paste that command here okay and uh, the password is luckfox so i'll copy the password i will paste the password and i will hit enter okay so we are successfully logging to the terminal of luckfox pico ultra w now we will check the ip address of wireless interface so we will type the command if config and here you can see the IP address of wireless interface is 192.168.1.15. So it means that our board is already connected with the Wi-Fi. Okay, now I can ping the Google and verify that we are able to access the internet or not. So I will type ping google.com. Okay, we are getting successful ping. So we are good to install the node grid in this board. So to install the node RAID, we have to go to the super user mode. So we will type sudo su and we'll provide the password, which is luckfox. So again, I'm going to copy the password. I will paste the password and we'll hit enter. And here you can see we are successfully logged into the sudo mode. Now let me clear the screen. Now here you have to use this command. Okay, sorry. Yeah, here you have to use this command to install node RAID in Luxfox Pico Ultra W board. So you can copy this command. You can paste that command here and then you can hit enter. Okay. So are you sure? Yes, we are sure. Okay. And are you really want to do this? Yes, I want to do this. Would you like to install Pi specific node? Yes. And here you can see. This can take 20 to 30 minutes on the slower Raspberry Pi version. Okay, so this command is specifically designed for the Raspberry Pi, but you can use this command in the Luxfox board as well. So if you are using Luxfox Pico Ultra W, then also you can use this command. And if you are using Luxfox Pico Pro Max, then also you can use this command. And here you can see for every successful steps, you will see this uh, slash U2714. Okay, so this was designed for the Raspberry Pi and in the Raspberry Pi you will see tick mark, okay, but that is not compatible with the Luxfox, so you will see here this uh, green garbage values, okay, but if you are seeing the green color, then it means that everything is okay. If you are seeing something in the red color, then there is a problem, okay, so you have to wait until all the steps gets done, okay, in the green color. If anything is red, then there is a problem, okay, so let's wait until it complete all of the step okay and make sure your board is connected with the internet because it will uh, going to download a lot of files from the internet and then it will install those node.js node red everything in your luckfox pico ultra w board so let's wait until all the steps get done
Okay, so NodeRid is successfully installed in our Luckfox Pico Pro Max. Now, where you want to keep your setting files? So we will uh, select this location and then we will hit enter. And do you want to set up user security? So no, as of now, we don't want to set up any user security. So we will select no, and then we will press enter. Do you want to enable the project feature? No, uh, enter a file name for your flow. So flows.json, that is fine. Okay, now we will hit enter because we don't want to encrypt anything. And we will keep the default editor. And we'll select the default text editor again allow function node to load external module yes and that's it you can see setting file written to root directory okay node read folder and setting.js now you have to uh, save this location because whenever you want to update the setting.js file you have to navigate to this location so now we will be able to run node read inside the luckfox pico ultra w board okay so what i can do is i can type node hyphen red in the super user terminal okay you can see if i press ctrl d here then i am in the pico user terminal okay but make sure you have installed the node read in the super user okay so you have to go to the super user first and then you have to run node read from the super user okay and then you have to hit enter so once you type node read and once you hit enter it will take some time to load the node read and uh, once it will load you can open your browser and you can access the node read running inside this luckfox pico ultra w board here you can see server now running at this location okay so we know the ip address of luckfox pico ultra w okay so if you don't know the ip address of luckfox pico ultra w then i'll show you so we'll log into the ssh terminal first okay and password is the luckfox okay here you can type the command if config and here you can see for the usb interface the ip address is 172.32.0.70 and for the wireless interface the ip address is this one so you have run the node read in the luckfox pico ultra w board now if you want to access the node read then you can use this ip address okay 192.168.1.15 okay to access the node read uh, flow editor and the dashboard so i'm going to open the new private window here I will type 192.168.1.15 colon 1880 and here you can see we are accessing the node thread which is running inside the luckfox pico ultra w board okay i can close the welcome note and here is our flow editor now i have already created one flow to monitor the resources of our luckfox pico board so i'm going to copy this json i will provide this link in the description of this video okay so you can directly import and use it so i'm going to paste sorry i have to copy it okay copy and paste and then import so we have imported successfully but few dashboard nodes are not available here so we have to install those dashboard node so i can go to manage palette i can go to install and i can search for dashboard and i can install the dashboard nodes okay all the dashboard node is already installed now okay now we can close it close it and here you can see now what you have to do is you have to just double click here and you just have to press on done okay the error will be gone here so double click and you have to press done okay that's it now i can deploy this flow and here you can see we have successfully deployed now i can access the dashboard okay and here is our dashboard so this is the storage data this is the memory details this is the cpu details and here if you want to reboot your operating system if you want to clear the cache memory or if you want to shut down it okay and here is the ip address of your luckfox pico ultra w board now this was designed for the luckfox pico pro max but you can also use it in the luckfox pico ultra w if you want to change this name then you can you know 
go to your flow editor and here you can edit it and here you can type luckfox pico ultra w that's it update deploy and here you can see luckfox pico ultra w control panel now total size okay the storage used okay 2.5 gb the free storage is 3.2 gb now percentage wise 54 okay and use the storage percentage wise 42 total memory okay used memory free memory and utilized memory now i can clear the cache memory and once i clear you will see some increment here you can see we have 70 mb of ram available and here is the cpu load okay so this is how you can monitor your luckfox pico ultra w system resources in the node RAID. and also you can install the node RAID in the luckfox pico mm -hmm. ultra w so basically you have to use this command okay so you just have to copy this command and you have to run that command into your luckfox pico ultra w terminal once you connect with the wi-fi and if you are not connected with the wi-fi and if you are not connected with the internet then you can't install this node raid in the luckfox pico ultra w and if you want to know your uh, wireless interface ip address then you can use this command ifconfig and here you can find the ip address of the wireless interface of your luckfox pico ultra w board and you can use this ip address to access your node raid flow editor and node raid dashboard now i can program my node raid to collect the data from modbus devices okay to collect the data from opc ua backnet device anything okay so this tiny luckfox pico ultra w is now my iot gateway i can connect any type of data okay i can also integrate barcode scanner i can also integrate the camera here i can also integrate the lcd screen i can also you know provide the gpio output from this okay and it is also supporting wi-fi and the bluetooth also ethernet so what else i need i can do whatever i want to do with this luckfox pico ultra w board so one of the best board we have okay so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt with the node red installation in the luckfox pico ultra w board then feel free to reach out to me on linkedin gmail okay telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere so stay tuned for the future videos and in the future videos we will cover the same thing for the luckfox pico pro max board okay so till then take care goodbye and thank you